Hello and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to place anything into perspective in Photoshop. We all know if you want to composite multiple photos together, there's a lot to pay attention to. In this tutorial, you'll be addressing the perspective issue. We'll learn to use the vanishing point filter to place anything in perspective. For this tutorial, we already have a cutout photo frame and a wall that we want the photo to be matching the perspective of. Getting the right perspective in Photoshop has never been easier than with the vanishing point filter. This tool allows us to define a perspective and then copy and paste a layer into that perspective. To start, we need to get the frame layer onto our computer's clipboard. Select the frame layer by pressing Command and clicking on its thumbnail and then hit Command C to copy it. But don't paste it yet. Create a new layer and then go to Filter, Vanishing Point. Simply click on any well-defined corners and edges in the photo where you want to place the frame. Once you create four corners, a grid will appear in the perspective that you defined. Be sure to make it large enough to hold the picture frame that we're about to paste in. Once the grid is made, hit Command V. Then, drag the frame that you just pasted into the grid. Photoshop will automatically transform the frame into perfect perspective. If it doesn't look perfect, you can move and adjust those points you made until it's right. When done, click OK. From here on, you can use various techniques to make your frame look three-dimensional and interacting with the lighting. But all of that solely depends on your particular case. If you're trying to put a banner on a wall, for example, making an extrusion won't be necessary. What other tutorials would you like us to make? If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And make sure to press the bell button to be the first to know about our new videos.